oh, I gotta do this. Yeah. <laughs> I'm actually losing my voice a little bit from talking so much. Dave's actually telling people to do stuff specific. I'm just telling stories. Well, I'll, I'll do this. <laughs> that actually just makes me feel a little bit weird. <laughs> that everybody who's here is here for a different reason. Look, some of you guys, you know, you just are desperate, right? And I understand that because I've been desperate before, right? I've been desperate for a solution. I've been desperate for the right information. Some of you guys are here for honestly, you came here for the wrong reasons, and now it's getting it right. Some of you guys came here looking for the secret. Like, there's a mystical secret to the universe. that I, If I just give you the secret double back when you have SEO strategy, suddenly tomorrow you're going to get rich on the internet because you know the secret thing that I'm not telling everybody else because obviously I don't want to succeed. The reality is that this is way simpler than you think that it is. It's way simpler than you think that it is. Now I want to tell you two stories real quick. Or actually three, because I've got three just unbelievable, unbelievable badasses in this room making a huge amount of money. So I'll tell you three crazy stories. Right? Number one crazy story is this guy. So I met this guy about what, three years ago when you got started on the internet. I, I ran into him, he joined something I was in. And actually, you guys kind of latched on some stuff I was doing, but you had your own unique gifts and personalities, and they're in like crazy land. I mean, these guys are so nuts. When, they, when she takes a photo, it doesn't matter. She takes a camera, goes like this, the colors match perfectly, and her face is like in the upper third, like she's an art manager and everything. You know what I'm saying? These guys are super creative marketers, and they started blogging about three years ago. All right? They started blogging, and they started doing what I was doing, actually, right? with their own gifts and skills. They've been making money doing this stuff now, not for not since the power network, but for three years straight. It's worked better and easier every year, hasn't it? It's worked better and easier every single year. Now, we never had a vehicle like this where we could actually just go make money, right? God, it was awful to make money, and you guys still made money, and you were gifted. So here's what I saw two people do, and this is what's unique about Toby and Layla. I saw them get started, just start taking action, and immediately start creating money, and here's exactly how they did it. And listen to this, guys, and focus on this. They immediately went into the circles and got around the people who were getting the results that they wanted. Immediately. Right, didn't you guys? They got in and they said, who's making money? They said, okay, Dave was blogging. They started blogging, right? They said, who's closing on the phone? There's this guy good at closing on the phone. They moved into his house and were his assistants for a while, and then he talks like him after a while, right? They got into a network marketing company, they got around the richest people, and they were running around doing home meetings for a while until they realized, God, this is awful and quick. Right? <laughs> now here's the thing, guys. These guys just latch on to information that works, and they immediately started making money by doing that. They didn't even have a vehicle like this, and it still worked. Or it's Cam. You know how long I've known him? Same time. Three years. You want to know how long he's been on my teams? Three years. You want to know how much he's listened when we've told him when I told him to do stuff? He's listened to literally everything I've ever told him that he had time to do, right? Which unfortunately before in power, he never had time to do the stuff that would really make him money. Just be honest, and he knows that, That's honest. right? This is actually one of the reasons why I started in power, it's why I'm telling you guys about it, because I was frustrated building a team, right? Because I couldn't get anybody in my team to succeed, because none of them had the time that I had. So the only people that really created success were these superheroes that popped up every once in a while that had all day and night to make sales videos that already had 10 years of skill, mm -hmm. right? And I saw this man here working his ass off for three years straight and not get the results he wanted. I was pissed off, right? So I created this. Here's the thing, though. Lawrence has been at every event I've ever told him to go to, right? Coach. Paul him said a lot. And more, <laughs> right? Okay. And more. He did it for about two and a half years until he came to an event that changed his life, right? Why did that event change his life, right? Hey, I'll see you in the next, next thing. Here's why the event changed his life, guys. It changed his life because he went number one. He was frustrated. He was almost ready to quit. Some of you guys came here frustrated. Anybody come here frustrated, right? You know what I'm saying? You're looking for the same. He came there and said, Dave, I don't believe this is possible. And I looked at him and I said, you don't believe what's possible. He said, making 10000 a month. And I said, what? I, I, I don't know where I left. No, you, no, you did that. You did that. I think I thought it was funny, right? Because I was like, dude, you've been doing this for like two and a half years. 10000 a month is easy, right? 
I'm like, what's the problem? Right? And I looked at it, and he's like, well, I'm getting like 12 to 15 minutes a day, and like, I'm not making any money. I was like, you should be making 15000 a month. You remember that? But here was the problem, is he didn't have a vehicle that worked. Right? He always worked hard, he didn't have a vehicle. When we launched this company, he just latched on. He'd seen me produce results long enough. And here was the difference, is now he had what it takes inside. He had made the decision. He was around the people who could help him succeed. He had the vehicle to get it done, and he just latched on with everything. Okay? He latched on with everything. It's your time now. Is that fair? Yeah. yeah. All right? Yes. Guys, some of you guys are in this room, you're thinking, yeah, there's a lot of people. I made this too late. You're going to be running around. I'm just be honest. I know what's going to happen. And there's other people in the room that are going to realize where we're at. And you're going to be the people. Okay? And I want you to listen to this. You're going to be standing back there where Lawrence is at right now, in a year. And you're going to be sitting there like this, and Lawrence is going to be standing in front of your team telling your story. And you'll make 600000 <laughs> To do that, you have to make a decision. Here's the decision that you need to make. So you don't make it make it two years, you're just going to do it no matter what. Right? You're going to do it no matter what. And you're not going to make excuses. Ah, oh, they don't have the money. Stop. Find it. Stop. Yeah. Stop. Don't tell me this. Right? Don't tell a homeless guy that. <laughs> right? Because I'm going to go, yeah, I might, I might actually burst into laughter. Right? I'm serious. I've been broke. I've probably been broker again. There's maybe a person in here that's been broken. Right? So I'm just not going to take it. Oh, I don't have the time. I'm just in Chris Records room, right? There's, there's maybe a person in here that's as busy as that guy. Two kids, works 80 hours a week, has an hour in the evening time, but he focuses. And he made a decision to do it. He made a decision at an event six months ago. Last month he made $40,000. And it stemmed from a single decision that he made. Here's the last thing that I'm going to tell you. Change does not happen over time, ever. Right? Skills get developed over time. Evolution happens over time, right? Change happens 100% of the time in the instant. I've seen too many people change. I saw Justin Brand, he almost drowned, get out of the water. He was like, he was baptized, man. I'm just talking about that. <laughs> right? You saw that video where he smashed the computer, and he was funny. There's no real conviction in his eyes. Just being a goofball. When he came out, he almost died or whatever, which, you know, I saved his life, but granted, I almost killed him, too. He doesn't tell that when he tells the story. <laughs> uh, I actually brought him to the waterfall. It was part of my sneaky plan. No, I right? But the thing is, is he came out of that thing, and you know what he did is he made a decision. He was just doing it no matter what. I remember back in 2009, living in a van. And you know what? I lived in a van on purpose. Sometimes I don't tell that part of the story either. We actually just wanted to go just be crazy because we're weird. Because I mean, I still don't wear shoes. You know what I'm saying? But the thing is, is I lived in a van on purpose. But then I actually got broke enough to where I couldn't do anything else. You know what I'm saying? Because I didn't realize how hard it is to get a job when you live in a van because you don't have an address, right? And they say, well, where do you live? And I say, well, it's my van. And they're like, yeah, I don't know how to let you in the store, Dave. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, I lived in this van in 2009, and I, I, I got real broke. I got fired from the only job I had at Great Peace because I needed, I needed jobs, you know, so I was always jumping from job to job. I think I had, like, 25 jobs by the time I was 21 or some crazy shit like that, right? But I always had all these jobs and all this crazy stuff. But one day, I just kept getting woken up by the police. It was, like, the third time in a row that night because you're not allowed to sleep in a van from the hours of 10 p.m. to 6 a.m. in Hawaii because apparently, you know, that's, that's, you know, they're not, it's not an anti-homeless law. They just, you know, they just don't you sleep then in the car. So they wake me up and it's like 2 in the morning and I have to, you know, I, I wake up and I'm just mad and, I, you know, there's a cop out there and, you know, I argue with them for half an hour and I was like, you know, you don't love your family, you know. <laughs> Move. And I had to move my car, and I was just fuming mad. But you know what I did? This is a funny thing. I just said, fuck this. Right? I'm serious, right? And I just changed. Right? You know how long it took me to create, like, an unbelievable life? Then. Just took a couple months to manifest. Right? Some of you guys are here. We've been putting pressure on you a little bit. Some people think pressure's bad. 
life, right? Broke people think that. Pressure creates diamonds. Yeah. Right? Pressure creates diamonds. Pressure creates change. And if I don't put pressure on you sometimes, but by exerting, right, what I know, because I just don't take bullshit. That's the great thing about me, right? Is because I say, hey, I can stand here with no shoes and just look crazy and still make so much money that all of you have to listen to me because I think it's hilarious. <laughs> right? But I just can't take bullshit anymore. Because I've just seen so many people succeed. I can't have you say, well, I failed for years and can't do it because I've seen him do it. I can't you see, hear you say, well, I can't do it because, you know, I'm brand new. Because I saw them be brand new and then succeed virtually instantly. I can't say, hear you say, well, I smoke pot and I can't do it because we got Justin for Right? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, it, 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 doesn't, it, doesn't matter, it doesn't matter who you are, right? You can do it. I've just seen too many stories. We have too much success in the power network. Here's what we got in the room. 600,000 last year, 300 something thousand last year, and half the year not doing nothing, right? Yeah, they just were, they just were goofing off doing home meetings and stuff because they thought it was fun. <laughs> This guy, right? Half a million last year, right? Now there's probably a bunch more stories in the room at varying levels from that, and I actually can't see around. Guys, I want you to look at that by itself. Here's what I want you to look at. This guy was like a construction dispatcher a few years ago. This guy here was an engineer. Right? These guys here were broke-ass musicians. Right? Probably the most charismatic many of the people up here. Is Lawrence really a charismatic, flamboyant guy? <laughs> right? You know what I mean? Is he like wearing hippie clothes and is he like telling stories and rhymes? You know what I'm saying? Chuck Marshall, he doesn't even want to speak. Now he does because he's kind of learning how to do it, but he came to our speaker saying he's actually speaking tomorrow, so give him a hand for that first <laughs> crazy weird guy for sure, but then you got that guy, and then you've got him, and he's an engineer, right? And and, and I'm sure his wife, you know, I mean, I'm married, you know, and he'd been doing this stuff for years with me. I'm sure she was like, another thing, right? <laughs> right? And that's what the wife's doing. It's okay. It's cool, right? Because he'd been around for me for years, not making any money, and frustrated all night, working all night, right? She's like, I want to spend time with you. And he'd still go on dates and then work at night, super organized guy. But here's the thing that he did, right? He said, I'm just doing it. Now, after the first 50,000 months, you might have been like, yeah, that won't last. Right? But then, it's like, wow, 600,000 the next year. Now she's here at the event with him. And, and you know what? Without, without her, he ain't nothing. He just loves his family more than you can imagine. This man's a family man. Loves his family. It's why he does what he does. And give Lord's Ham a hand. Guys, you can do this. This is going to be 10 times bigger in a year, right? And I do not care about your background. So past doesn't damn me for the future. And here's what you need to do is you need to do what these guys tell you to do, okay? You need to do what your leaders tell you to do. And here's what they're going to tell you to do. Number one, focus. 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 Right? Why? You got this much creative energy focus. Mm -hmm. Focus. Get all in, right? Get to Chicago. Who in here is going to be at Chicago with the team? Yeah. 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 Ooh, right? Get your tickets before tomorrow because the price will go up tomorrow. Okay? And here's why you should buy your tickets to Chicago, though. You should buy them because when you make a commitment, you need to take action. That moment, if you want your unconscious mind to keep giving you direction mm -hmm. to reach your goals. Mm -hmm. And you guys will understand that in a year. Some of you understand it right now. But just trust me, take action the second you make a decision. That's what leaders do. It's what this man did. It's why he is where he's at. Because when I launched this company, he came up to me. He said, I've got to pay for this. I've known you for years. I said, yeah. And he said, OK. And then he immediately went out in a frenzy building a team. Didn't know half of what you were doing, I don't think. But it was just action. And do you remember what it felt like to be in the middle of moving in action totally unconsciously? Just on fight fire. forward, on fire. That's what it takes. Everyone in here can do that. To